working with the World Fish um, <laughs> Extension workers. And we're planning to meet up with them on Sunday. On the campus of the University of Illinois at Champaign-Urbana, there are special programs with special missions. The AgReach program and the Study Abroad program out of the College of Agricultural, Consumer, and Environmental Sciences, also known as ACES, are a couple of those programs. And after digging a little deeper into the soil of its beginnings, I found out that the programs were just as special as the mission and the people involved. I direct the AgReach Abroad study abroad program and uh, we work in Sierra Leone and some other countries. Dr. Paul McNamara is the founder and director of AgReach, a program he began in 2016. For over 20 years, McNamara has worked within his passion to substantially improve the lives of smallholder farmers in the poorest countries in the world. And although it has only been three years, AgReach now houses several large multi-country programs funded by USAID. One of the longest running partnerships is the one between the University of Illinois and Njala University in Sierra Leone, West Africa. And that program piggybacks on the activities that AgReach does around the world. The effects that these activities have had on the lives of millions of people speak of improvement, development, and sustainability, beginning with the soil. Agriculture was a key emphasis of that USAID program just because in a country like Sierra Leone that's a poor country so many people have a direct connection in agriculture for their livelihoods and so if you want to um, address poverty um, help people be more food secure um, you need to grapple with agriculture and a trained workforce and uh, capable set of people with technical skills and abilities in agriculture fields is one part of addressing that uh, agriculture food security challenge. Overseeing a $22 million portfolio of international agricultural extension development activities that spans four continents and reaches over 50 countries, McNamara has become more than a household name when it comes to research and activities on food security and poverty alleviation. Because of his accomplishments, experience, and expertise, from households and farms in other countries to the corners of prestigious universities across the globe, McNamara has become well-known and respected in his field as a researcher, academic, and scholar. The U of I started working in Sierra Leone in 1964, so when it won a contract with USAID to establish an agriculture university along the lines of a land grant, and so a university that was meant to teach um, sort of anyone who wanted to learn agriculture or education or technical fields along with business and other fields. 80% of their university facilities were destroyed in the war, which meant that a lot of the faculty left the country and some faculty were even killed. So there was real loss all the way around. And so U of I helped build that university and uh, train all the original faculty. And it also um, brought a number of them, more than 30, over to the United States to get master's degrees and PhDs. And uh, many of them at U of I, a few at other universities. And then they went back and staffed that university 
and uh, now it's one of the leading universities in Sierra Leone. This mutual exchange of intellectualism has lasted for over 50 years with faculty and course exchange to a study abroad program specifically designed for students. The curriculum at Injala, um, it has its roots in the early work that Illinois contributed to, but certainly it's, it's tailored for their environment and their resources and their teaching, um, teaching cohort and cadre. And so it's a little different um, and uh, some ways it's similar is we teach some courses jointly like we have U of I students spend a semester in Sierra Leone um, in a study abroad program and they take courses with Sierra Leonean students at Njala that are modeled on some of the courses that happen here at U of I. And another way that the courses there are similar is um, there's a few courses here at U of I that are online courses that the U of I allows um, people at Njala University to take and use in their training. And so there's people in public health that are taking a global health course and some other things online. So that's another way. And some of us make teaching contributions there. I teach a course there as a visiting professor. Um, and U of I students are in that course, but also Sierra Leonean students. And so that's, that's another way that the courses um, match up or are similar in some ways. Mamadou Sahid Kanu is the acting head of agribusiness from Najala University and a visiting scholar and PhD candidate right here at the University of Illinois. He has firsthand knowledge of the valuable collaboration this type of exchange offers. It is not me alone. I have series of my colleagues who are there who needs this type of opportunity to come and clean up their thesis. If such opportunity should be extended to them, it, is, it will be very much grateful. And also, my student, my agribusiness student, they also need such opportunity because so that they can also see the experiences, what they have learned in the classroom. They can come out and see them. If they can also extend this sort of opportunity, it will be good. Like most of the students from the time I started teaching or heading that, that unit, They've been bringing Division Ones throughout because of the help of this project. Professor McTamara is teaching there, is also teaching there some courses. So they are superb, really. But if they can extend these privileges, at least so that they can have the first hand information of what they are they are doing, it will be good. It was important for the University of Illinois to go back and make a contribution. So it's important for you know, our international work, our international presence. And generally just, I think we had an obligation to follow up with the work that we had done earlier. Dr. Richard Cook of the U of I specializes in agricultural and biological engineering. He's been working with Nijala since 2013 and is deeply involved in research with the faculty and staff and the mentoring of scholars there. Uh, well, the thing that was most exciting for me, which was kind of serendipitous, was a result from one of our experiments where we had done this experiment where we were growing rice and we had this uh, rainfall harvesting system to get the rice in, and irrigate the rice. But in, to create this harvesting system, we had to create a berm and have a reservoir. And the reservoir was taking like half of the area out of production to store okay. water. So then we said, ah, oh, what if we try to grow some rice in the reservoir itself? And it turns out that the yield from our rice in the reservoir was higher than anything we'd ever expect. It was like four times the national average 
So that was really exciting, you know, it's like just serendipity, but it, <laughs> it was really good. Lisa Seckler works as a staff member in the ACES department and helps lead and deliver study abroad programs in Sierra Leone. Her love for Sierra Leone and the program began when she worked as a Peace Corps volunteer in Sierra Leone in the 1980s. She learned to help by learning more about the people and the surroundings. It's all integrated. Um, nature, villages, um, we, we put excursions, I think we're using that term, excursions are a really important part of our study abroad experience because I think unless you can see what the country looks like overall, see all of the different sectors at work, in order to understand a small village farmer, you're going to need to understand what the roads look like to get there, what the schools look like that the children are going to, what the hospitals, that the challenges that, that people face just getting to and from all of these different things that they use in their everyday lives. And so if you can kind of see that big web of life, it helps you understand the problems that people face in development in general. The study abroad program allows students a special and rare opportunity to really get involved in global development. During a semester-long study abroad program, students spend roughly January 10th through May 25th in Sierra Leone. That is a great preparation if a student wants to do something like international development or international business um, in the future or international agriculture or any research field in the social sciences or related fields like natural resources or public health. Um, that's a great training. We also have a winter break program that's a two and a half week long program and we've had students from all over the U of I campus do that from um, PhD students to um, sophomores all across campus part of that program and that program is really an immersion experience in a developing country and students learn about um, the history and the culture of the country but they also learn about the, the development challenges and, and what the development process looks like on the ground and the students usually engage with local partners to um, do some development action or contribute to the work of a development project. I think with study abroad Sierra Leone we it's a completely different experience. You are immersed in a different culture that it's really not about going out to the bars at night. It's more about learning about an entirely different country and people and everything is just different and that in itself is a challenge but it's a, it's a wonderful adventure at the same time. So your life I think is more deeply impacted by going outside your comfort zone and I, I, you know it may sound silly but I think another love that people end up coming back with is that they've challenged their self with nature, with camping, with all of these things that maybe if you grew up in Chicago you didn't have an opportunity to go out and canoe and hike mountains and be on beaches and I mean it's really an interactive not only with the people of Sierra Leone but itself and we really emphasize that I think that it, it's all integrated. Not only do the students have a great time learning, there are also opportunities for the students to engage in scholarly work and research, which is important at a Research One University. I think the study abroad program does focus on experiential learning, on service learning, on you know they're doing something in Sierra Leone. I don't want to you know, it may just be a drop in the bucket, but they're really getting a great intuitive feeling for the challenges and projects that they end up doing. So, you know, they get publications out of it many times. I mean, we, we really push them and it's a, it's a fun kind of push. I mean, yeah, people are proud when they finish the program and, you know, I did it. <laughs> so. Um, so partnering with um, local partners, um, engaging with uh, Sierra Leonean students, uh, and also having an internship with um, an NGO or a program in Sierra Leone, uh, those are all unique um, opportunities that are presented to undergraduate students, um, and at the same time it kind of capitalizes on these long-standing um, relationships and um, partnerships that we've had with uh, Njali University. Yeah. 
they study abroad project is very important. In fact, in the first instance, let me first start with my student in the classroom. When I compare them with the University of Student of the University of Illinois student here, you will see that difference. Okay? Sometimes when assignments are given to them in terms of presentations, except the Illinois student helping them to prepare our points. That's in fact, I'm not so happy about it. So you see, but with, with them coming together, mixing with them, they, they, they gain. That alone has, has helped my student to gain more knowledge because of this study abroad. And not only that, the survey conducted, like in 2012, March 2012, to be precise, we, the University of Illinois student and, and my own student at Njala University, the agribusiness student, they conducted a survey on a case study on high-functioning agricultural business centers in Sierra Leone. So they conducted that research and that was submitted to the government and the Minister of Agriculture and some other institutions. It was really too good because it helps my student, it builds up my student's research skills and even myself because I was, I was part of the survey. Not only me, even my own colleagues they also benefited. And not only that, there was another survey in marketing about, I think, last year. In marketing, that was also conducted successfully. So study abroad is very important, really. Avelardo Rivera had never been to Africa, so there were some surprises. But according to Avalaro, the surprises were pleasant. I guess one of the things that surprised me the most about Sierra Leone uh, was how welcoming and how warm the people were, um, especially being, um, you know, foreigners or, or people not from Sierra Leone. Uh, we kind of stood out a bit. And so um, while we did get a lot of attention, people were just very welcoming, very, very warm and kind. Um, also, as a Latino student, um, one of the things that, that made me kind of um, enjoy Sierra Leone a little more was seeing the connections and the, the, the similarities um, or maybe influences that um, West African culture had on Latino culture so that kind of allowed me to um, I don't know, engage with people in a more familiar way. More than 25 percent of students in the ACES program study abroad during their academic career and you know this is where the story gets really interesting and exciting. Sierra Leone is a beautiful country, um, and it's, it's also been through a lot over the past 20 years. Um, and I think that despite its history, um, it's a very safe, it's a very welcoming country. Um, you will make connections, a lifelong uh, friends that, um, you know, come from a very different world than you. Um, and so I think that it's also important to, um, to, to, to learn from those differences and learn from those relationships, um, kind of in an effort to just become a better person. So it's kind of cliche, but um, if you go to Africa and you come back kind of the same way you left, then you know maybe you didn't do something right. It is an on the ground, in the dirt, even the water type of experience that I got to witness and be a part of firsthand when I joined Dr. McNamara and his group of great students. I got to see it all up close and personal. So let's head to Salone for a study abroad experience that may leave you wanting more or at least wanting to take the next trip to the beautiful country of Sierra Leone.